Sam's attention remains on the plate as Cora strides to the door. He lifts his eyes just as she exits the room. Now, in a twitching negative image flashback, Flynn stands on a shore with his young son. As they face the water, Flynn puts his hand on Sam's shoulder. In the present, Flynn's eyes open as he lies on his back in bed, his hands folded across his chest. He stares at the ceiling for a moment, then sits up on the edge of his bed, his shoulders slouched. He turns his head to the living room, gazing across it toward the hallway with Sam's bedroom. Excuse me, I'm farting. Standing, he pans out of his room. In the hall, he approaches Sam's closed door. Sam. He pushes it open. Sam. As the door swings wider, Flynn stares in at his son's empty room. Now our view sweeps up the side of Flynn's vintage light cycle. Inside the one-man canopy, Sam drives across a bridge. A bluish line of light glows along the cycle's spinning rear wheel as it zips toward the city. From a raised lookout at the side of the bridge, a sentry watches the vehicle cruise past. Now Sam drives through a tunnel and emerges on a street in the digital city where two sentries escort a program. Sam stops by a man in a hood. Hey man, it's your lucky day. Meanwhile, Flynn stands on his balcony and stares out at the glowing city. On a street, two sentries spot the vintage light cycle. As they sprint after the vehicle, Sam steps onto the street, his face hidden by his borrowed hood. He glances after the sentries, then strides away. Sam Flynn. The platinum blonde approaches. You remember me? Yeah. You gave me some advice. And you found it. It's unfortunate we went the way we did. She smiles and he turns away. You have a good night. You're looking for someone. Sam pauses, then steps back to face her. 